Calcolito Calexpoeve Hi, welcome to Expressive. Hi, my name is Barbara Fernandez. I am a speech language pathologist, the developer and creator of Expressive. Expressive is an application for the iPad and the iPhone that serves as a tool for communication. Expressive includes the Smarty Symbols library, which is which are the images that you're seeing on this main menu and all throughout the Expressive app. You can find Expressive on the App Store by searching by the name Expressive or by the company name Smarty Ears. This video tutorial is designed to give you some basic information on Expressive and how to use and customize Expressive to utilize with your own child or if you're a speech language pathologist with your own students. I clicked on the X here to erase my message. You saw that I was actually initially typing on the message board. The app allows you to select, tap on the icons. Basics. Thank you. To express some wants and needs and communicate, as well as you can also use the keyboard by tapping on the top green button to Capital say a e -O. Hello. Every time we want to erase, we can delete individual letters when we make a mistake, or we can delete all of them. Expressive comes in with the screen that you're looking at, includes important keywords called core words. I like she I want go places bank I want go bank these are some of the things that you can do. You can see categories, even bigger categories, body parts, food, drinks, apple juice. The child can tap on the icon to speak the message. I want to now show you how easy it is to customize because the ease of customization is one of the key characteristics of expressive. To edit something, you can click on the X button, and we're going to go here and tap on that icon. You have the option to delete, replace, or hide. If you think it's a message, that an icon that you're going to be using later, you can just hide it. I'm going to hide all of these ones here, and then I'm going to tap OK. Now you see that those icons have been hidden from the view. But if you click on the edit button again, you can always unhide those icons. You can also permanently delete those icons and it gives up a space to add a new icon later. I also want to show you that you have the option of using iCloud and you have the lock ability. Once the app is on lock mode, which is the app, the way for the user to be utilizing the app, you can avoid any issues with the child accidentally deleting an icon. I'm going to go ahead and hold to unlock. This allows me to edit the app again. You have also the option of using lower or capital um, casing. You can speak the folder. I can turn off speak the folder. So if I go to questions, when it only speaks the word inside the message window going to go ahead and click here again to edit. I can take it off from lock mode to have access to deleting and adding more buttons. You can also switch the voices. You have some US standard voices as well as South American, Ireland, UK. These are all English words. Size of the message icon. We are right now using the medium. 
I'll show you what happens when we go to the small size. Here the child can have access to more images at the touch of a button. As opposed to scrolling, here we still have one scroll. I go here. I go here. Once you tap on that message window, the message plays it back. Then I continue showing you some of the other customizations. You can also customize it to extra small. For users that are ready to start having access to a variety of icons without scrolling, this also gives you more space to add more words into that main screen. I'm going to go back here. My favorite way to use is the small. I recommend that you keep it consistent so that the child will remember the location of the icons. They won't have to keep searching to communicate. This will make communication much more efficient. I so know that I want, want more are in the correct location. They will easily be able to access those icons without having to spend a lot of time searching or scanning for the word that they want to use. Soup. I want more soup. There you go. So we're going to resume here. I'm showing you some of the customizations, but I recommend that as soon as you download Express, if you spend some time getting familiarized with the app and preparing it for your child, for the child that is going to be using Expressive. Another thing you see here, you have the option of putting the text below or above the icon or the, the picture, the symbol. You can also switch the font and you can adjust the speed of the voice. I'm just gonna put extremely fast here. I want more soup. And then I can also put extremely slow. I want more soup. I want more soup. Sometimes when I'm wanting to model some of these phrases, I slow down the speech and that's a great tool as a speech pathologist being able to model the correct use of the symbols and correct use of the communication board. Um, if you go to the information section, you'll be able to find things, uh, a way to back up the app, to learn more, to contact us. And I now want to show you how to add images. It's very easy and simple. If you click on this plus button, if you are on edit mode, you can add a folder or an image. I'm first gonna show you how to add an image. You can pick the color here. We can use the Smarty Symbols library. And I'm gonna pick the image here of acerola. This is a Brazilian fruit. We can click on the color and tap add. So now that is acerola has been added here. I want more soup acerola. Or I can remove the acerola. I want more acerola. That's the image that we just added. If you want to switch the location of the image, you can just hold it down and move somewhere you want. If it's a high frequency word, but make sure that you're not constantly switching the location so that the child will know where to find the image they are looking for to communicate. Now I want to show you how to add folder. We click add folder. We have to assign an image to that folder. So if I want to put a folder for um, fun activity that the child likes to do, I can write here activities or my activities and create a folder. You will see that that folder is right here. You can always rearrange it and put it from place. You can move it somewhere higher for a higher priority. But once you're in that folder, the background is the same color as that folder, you can start adding images, including your own photos from the photo library. You can pick here. One of the fun things that my son likes to do is fly. And then I can put here, you can go to I fly, oops, and click add. Ifly. I want to go to iFly. So this is the very basic and pretty much all that it entails using Expressive. It's a very powerful communication application because it includes over 20,000 words to pick from. 
and it's very easy to customize. So if you're a parent and you're looking for a way to allow your child to communicate and start communicating at home, Expressive is a great resource for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Expressive, visit the Smarty Ears website at www.smartyearsapps.com.